Ladies and gentlemen, in the last episode, we found ourselves winning in, in this first area. What a journey. <laughs> what a damn journey we went on. Um, we've won, but I have decided to keep going into this, this new area filled with, uh, probably death is the reality. I'm, I'm sitting on one HP, so my, my odds of survival here, probably pretty low. But we do have a campsite right at the start that allows me to refill 15% of my maximum HP, which I do think is a, a good thing. Um, that's 18 for that. I think spending 5 energy to get a little food, also a, a huge value. And then the ability to uh, to refill our, our things. Pretty good. Um, I only used 2 out of 3 on this guy, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> and, and we're gonna move on with our day. Um, now look, there's there's some some issues here. I do think we should be going to the Church of Spades, uh, as I can likely heal inside of the Church of Spades. Y'all told me that I can eat food, um, and that regens my health, which I think is a, a pretty intelligent idea. I'm now full. I can only eat one um, to gain 10 health, so I'm at 29 health. It's not the end of the world. It's not the best either. Uh, Witch Hut, I can sacrifice life for a reward. Farm, I can pay the farmer to gain food. And then in here, oh, this is literally just pay to get enhanced spades, so that's not even that valuable, man. <laughs> That's not that good. Um, maybe we go for the farm to, to get food. And then that allows me to have three options after that. I should really upgrade this. Let, let's upgrade this right now. And now we have a mine. Uh, I mean, I don't know, dude. I think it's fine. Let, let's do this battle. Um, just go in. Just go in. There's There's nothing I can do. Uh, until I, I get in here. So, six black cards you cannot do. Five black cards you got a chance. Four black cards like a, a high chance, for sure. What is inflame all? Um, literally inflames all of my items. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Dude, you're like miserable. It's a, like a big problem for me. Um, okay, okay, okay. Let's, let's do... First of all, I'd like to steal your ace. Don't mind if I do. Um, in doing so, we can do a little inflame action. Although I do have a, you know what, I'm gonna do this. I'd like to inflame your four black cards, because that's now the only one you have a chance to do. Then I would like to steal this jack, because we got ourselves a little two card straight that hits for 80. Uh, at this point, I would like to scroll vulnerability you and hit you for 120. <laughs> Which is pretty good, okay? That's pretty good. Um, and then there's a part of me that's like, I don't know, I should probably use a, a gem. Um, we get a- oh, you don't get a black card? Come on. Because I can probably kill you on this turn if- if I can get that- that black card. This is 28. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Hit you for 42. Let's hit you for- for 8. You did not draw 4 black cards, and then I'll just hit you for 10, and we'll move on with our life. That's not a bad fight, man. That's not a bad fight. So so send me to the farm. I'm gonna go kinda heavy here. Um it's it's only one. <laughs> okay, that's pretty bad, actually. So then take me to the mine. Um I'm going to do both of these, right? Because I can only do them once. So I can now carry 16. I've gained another chunk. I go back to the farm. I'm going to once again pay the farmer. Um I think it would be intelligent for me to heal. What is the flea market? Trading post where you can barter for stuff. Okay, um, that's fine. Uh, let, let's eat a food. I'm kind of living in a, a food, food life right now. And I think that's fine. I think that's fine. So send me in 16 energy. Huge potential for us to, to do some stuff here. Five cards rank 10 or lower. You cannot get. Three cards rank 10 or higher. You got a chance, okay? You got a chance. Um, you're definitely not doing this. I'm really not all that concerned about you, uh, l looking at you. So, I think that you got to draw. To get some stuff. A three of a kind, huh? How very interesting. <laughs> How very interesting. Very close to the full house. I'm going to do another one of these. Okay, you got a full house with, with jacks and kings. 
It's a, a pretty massive play. Um, I'm, I'm gonna hit you. I'm not too worried about this enemy right now. But let's steal your queen. I'm going to play uh, an inflame. Three cards, ten or higher, I'll, I'll do. Because there's a higher chance of you getting that sometime soon. Um, and then the two cards straight will hit you for 34. Do a, do a five bucker. Not too bad. I'm, I'm relatively pleased with that, actually. So, what can we do here? Um, nine, four, three... It's kind of a terrible hand, in, in all honesty. Um, what are the chances of you getting five cards ranked 10 or lower? Zero. Chance of, of three cards 10 or higher? Also pretty low. Um, I don't even really care if you freeze me. I, I think we just, we just accept our fate on this one. Uh, these add to exactly 21. Yeah, because you can count as a one. That's kind of fun. I'd rather hit you though, because <laughs> now if you get it, you just you just kill yourself, which seems fine in this scenario. Um, but even more fine is my ability to kill you without any issues. So I'm I'm pleased. Gives me a little bit of a uh, little bit of food. I'm gonna pop that food again. I don't think that we're in a a position. What the frick is the pyramid, man? The roguelike in indie roulette challenge. <laughs> okay. Um. It's, it's good. It's good. Do I need to fight this elite? No, because this is a terrifying path. I'm gonna fight the Doom Foul. Draw one card when hit. Any cards adding to at least 32 is an attack for 15. Fortunately, me stealing from you makes that uh, pretty nice. So you're, you're doing nothing this turn. But you do draw a card once I hit you. And I, I hit a lot is part of the problem here. So that's something to, to keep in mind. Um, we, we got we got like a couple plays. I think that this is a gem play here. Um, I'm gonna hit you. I, this is definitely a scroll of vulnerability play too. I'm gonna hit you for for 120. You've drawn an ace. You now have cards adding to to 32. That ace would be a, a viable thing for me to to snag here. That would give me the blackjack as well. So let's let's hit you. You now have cards adding up to at least 36. I'd like to steal the ace from your hand. That allows me to inflame this, which does not attack you, which is a really, really valuable little thing here. And if I play the two, you're gonna go over over 32. So so let's end turn. I think that that was a pretty monster turn for me. And now, ideally, I would kill you on this turn. And, and interestingly, um, we have a really solid play because I could steal, I could steal your nine and then steal your other nine. And now I have a full house that can hit you for 92. We use a lot of energy there, but I kind of don't care. <laughs> I kind of don't care at all. So. Uh, there's some interesting stuff here. Um, I can only do... Can I only do one of these? Or can I do multiple of these? Because, like, minus four money for six energy. And then six energy for six money literally profits me uh, two bucks. <laughs> Which is a little, little weird. But I'd rather spend for the energy. Yeah, so this profits me, profits me two dollars. I'm gonna take the profit, even though I would like this. Now trading away my my food is a really that's a really sketchy play. Um, four suits in restore your life and provide breakfast. Blacksmith upgrade an item of your choice. I mean, I'm probably going to take the gem and then restore health going into the sands, which I don't know what that is. I mean, what is the sand? It's just the sands. That doesn't help me, brother. That doesn't help me. Okay. Um...
Wow, there's there's stupid decisions you can make. <laughs> I don't know if I should take make the stupid decisions. Cause there's a part of me that's like, let's you're providing me food. Let's trade away all of my food to get a crap load of money. Roll into the the inn, heal, get food, and then go into the sands. But it puts us in a really wonky spot. Like I'm not gonna have enough food then. So unfortunately, I I must just leave, and I I don't love that, but I must just leave. Um. And now with twelve dollars, I think it is most advantageous for me to hit the blacksmith. So upgrade one of your items. Um. What what upgrades are we looking at? This is an attack times one point five. Uh. How about you? This this goes up to a times. Five on the damage, man. <laughs> that is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Um, I'll do it. Why not, right? Why not? And then I'll leave, and we'll enter the sands. I don't know what this is. Okay, it's just another temple. That's fine. I mean, I can, I can deal with this. Um, so the castle dungeon. Look, you're probably gonna have to do it because we need money in order to do all of this. <laughs> Let, let's pay one to restore 10% of my, my health, okay? You're, you're now at 50%. Abandon faith, lose your card enhancement, but the priest will give you 10 bucks. I mean, I'm gonna tell you, I actually like that. I don't really care about the, uh... The clubs being enhanced. It doesn't help me at all. Well, I mean, it helps me fine, but it doesn't help me that much. And enhanced diamonds don't do all that much for me. So, now that I have the money, I would like to restore all of my health. Since I restore all of my health, I'm going to visit the dungeon. But before I do that, I would like to pay three pay three get a little bit more of that then i would like to visit the dungeon and this is i mean it's it's probably terrifying right it's probably terrifying but it'll be fine um five card flush or just five cards you draw an additional disgusting we we need to steal from you um how do i want to steal from you i gotta steal an ace okay so steal the ace um, obviously a full house is extraordinarily good. We won't deny that in the slightest. I think, so, so ace 10 does that. I, I think that you need to gem here just to get a couple more cards in hand because now you can do like an eight, five, three attack, gain the 50%. I'm not going to scroll of uh, vulnerability in this hand, believe it or not. I'm gonna hit you with that, I'm gonna hit you with this. I played the- I played the wrong damn cards, man. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Um, okay, steal- steal the ace. I- I played- I played wrong, I understand. Okay, I played wrong. Please inflame that one. Hit you for ten, end turn. Three sevens! Why do you have so many more cards? Draw plus one when hit, that's why. Okay. Good, good point. Very good point. Um. Well, I'm going to inflame this. I'm going to steal a black card from you. And that black card is going to be this king. And then we're going to play this. And then I'm going to... I don't really want to hit you for 9, because it's just going to make you draw more cards. Although, I don't know. Maybe I'm fine with you drawing more cards. So, you, you now have a billion cards. A 5-card flush. You'd have to draw a spade. You're going to attack for 55 if you do that. <laughs> it's a buttload, man. It's an absolute buttload. Um... If I just steal a... I don't even really like any of the steal options. You're, you're horrible, man. This is a tough fight. 
Okay, it's a beautiful fight. I'm gonna steal your your eight. I now have a full house that hits for 113. That's such a massive play, man. It's such a massive play. Then hit you for 16. You're gonna draw five cards, but you're dead on the next turn. So I, I think we're fine. Because queen nine three, I mean, you might as well do this, is 44, you're dead. I take no damage. Um, I go into the next fight. This is where I'm now terrified, okay? You draw a card, one hit. Three cards straight attacks for 37. 37. You have a... Nice play there. A jack ruins you and eight ruins you. You would love to steal the ten. I have no energy. <laughs> I have no energy. Okay. It's problematic. Um, play, play your two cards straight. Pop a gem. Okay. Play your two cards straight with hearts for 52. We're gonna, we're gonna go hard on this turn. Scroll over vulnerability me and then give me maximum things. Um, I'm gonna hit you for 52, which is actually 78. Then we're going to full house you. We're going to inflame. Cards adding to at least 36. I'm, I'm just gonna inflame it. That's fine. Then we're going to go black cards for 27, which is 41, and then hit you for 10. There's an above 50% chance that my ass is dead here. Because th this is going to get messy. So I have to use these items. Or else they end up in in heck. That's okay. Um, it's okay. It's, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So... Give me you, hit you for 35. Give me you, hit you for nine. I'm gonna take some damage. You're gonna curse my, my stuff again. I mean, I'm, I'm taking damage for sure. Eight, nine is a 68, which is really good. And then this is a 38. It's good, it's good. It's not good enough. Am I dead? It's damn close. I'm, I'm destroyed, okay. <laughs> Good talk. Good talk. You got me. You got me. I'm not going to deny that. You, you've bested me. I've unlocked the mage. Um, next unlock is the queen. I mean, look, send me in. We're going to play as the, the mage. I didn't expect to last too long on that one. Everybody has told me, Tyler, you need to play upgrades. Um, classic mode is too hard. Yeah, that's okay. I'm going to keep playing classic mode. Thanks for your concerns, though. Um, Princess of Diamonds. We, we got pair... We attack for two times card total. We can stash up to three cards. It's very exciting. And then no card cost. We can spend in energy to cycle up to two cards of my choice. Including enemy cards. That's pretty, pretty nasty for sure. And I start with a potion of life. Um, I can spend an energy during my turn in combat to reveal a card. Okay, we got a lot of energy we can spend with the mage here. This is very interesting, very interesting. Um, regular items, 25 without your regular. I just play no modifiers, man. I, I can't, I can't be messing around with stuff before I even, uh, before I even know what I'm doing. Give me, give me the chips. Let's take the chips. Um, I'm going to immediately buy an upgrade for for card draw because I think that it's the most valuable. And then I'm going to fight an elite right out the get-go. So a four-card flush, any cards adding to at least 30. I, I get your vibes. I get your vibes. I understand you. So I can spend... We got 30 energy? Holy crap. Okay, that's a lot. That is definitely a lot. So start me with a, a pair of sevens, a little magic missile. And then no card cost. I can cycle two cards of my choice. I mean, you might as well cycle the the ace and the king. <clears throat> okay, sure. What are you gonna do? And then I'll I'll stash my my five up my sleeve. You did not draw what you needed, which is lovely. I'll return the five, but I have no interest in in doing much with it at this time. Uh, you have a decent chance. 
of getting there. But there's not much I'm gonna do with it. I need a pair. Um, just just stash your cards and your turn. I'm trying not to, to spend too much here right now. But I, I would really like... Okay, you're definitely not getting there. I would really like to hit you at some point. So stash these and turn. Okay, you've finally given me a pair. I'd like to, to hit you for 20. Uh, I'm not too worried about you right now. So let's let's stash you. And turn. Still not getting there. We love that. Return two eights. Lovely. I'm going to stash the pair of twos. I'm going to end turn. You, you have no chance. And then pair of aces for 44. I mean, that's a lovely fight. I got, I got no issues with that. That that went fine. So now with 10 bucks. Um, I mean, you can mess around. You can try to get to more card draw. You can also go friendly vampire and things go, things go kind of nuts with the vampire. Um... Although I feel like I my my decision to go crazy with the vampire in the last game ended up screwing me up. <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably gonna do it again though. So so send me in two hearts, one heart. So we want to cycle hearts. Yeah, I mean you immediately got two hearts, which is a problem. I I don't love that for me. But I can just cycle those cards. Now you got one heart. But we don't know what this card is. So how about I reveal it? Okay. Um, so you're going to block for 10. I'm not really all that concerned about that. So just stash me cards and my turn. If they're not doing anything to me, then I'm not concerned. Um, if they end up doing things to me, then, then my concern is higher. So pair of sixes. Breaks your stuff. I'm stashing the cards. I'm, I'm ending turn. We only care when there's a visible heart on the screen. No visible heart, no care for Tyler. Now, we could cycle our own cards, by the way. Uh, which is an interesting idea, just to, to give us the ability to uh, get things like a, a pair of threes to, to hit this guy. But I'm, I'm not going to lose too much sleep over that potential. Let's cycle these two cards. I mean, it's a hell of a straight, let me tell you. <laughs> Not much I could do with it, but it's a hell of a straight. Let, let's pop a gem here. Okay, two aces for 44. There is really no reason to pop a gem. I get a gem back, but I feel like that was probably a waste, Tyler. So, I see the treasure chest. Um, Treasure chests are really valuable in this game, man. I really wanted to go vampire, but maybe we, we have the money for this shop, so let's go kind of crazy. Okay, it's like super expensive. <laughs> it's insanely expensive, man. I mean, they told me it was expensive, but this is too expensive. Um, I can't do anything with you. Send, send me in, let's find a random item. Um, it's another bag of holding. What the hell? Okay, um... I guess wizard sleeve and bag of holding is different. Can we can we move you to here, move you to here, and you to here? That way I have my bags of holding together. So I can stash five cards? That seems that seems like a lot. Thanks for the two bucks. Appreciate that. I feel like I'm on, on Twitch. Uh okay. I'm gonna take the, the food over the gems. I'm not too concerned about the gems. Uh and then I'll fight you. So far, this is a very, very simple, clean run. One card rank 10 or higher, and you hit me for 13. Okay, well, you're going to be doing that for sure. Uh, so let's... I also have max energy right now, man. We generate so much energy. Let's reveal your card. Okay, we love that. I'm going to hit you for a pair. I'm going to stash a card. I'm going to end my turn. Okay, yeah, you got a lot of cards that are, that are ranked 10 or higher. I'm going to cycle these. You still got them. So, I mean, look, at this point, I'm kind of like, who cares, really? I can't prevent you from hitting me. So, I'm just going to end my turn, right? That's life. I, I would well, I would have loved to be in a scenario where uh, where you didn't hit me, but what am, what am I going to do, right? So, do this. Um, I'll, I'll cycle your cards. 
We got no clue if one of them is or isn't. I, we're happy it's not. And then we'll we'll return our threes and kill you. I don't love taking damage, but what are you going to do, right? So the Titan Casino. Play a game of Titans 21 and win prizes. This ought to be good. Traveling merchant willing to sell you items. Okay, we need to go heavy here. Um, I, I need something. So the odd blade of hex... Up to two cards, if they're odd, we hex. If the cards are odd, then we hex the opponent, and then the hex, they would give us cards. That's pretty sick. Okay, that's, that's really cool. You also have the Axe of Darkness. Any cards adding to at least 28. See, here's the thing. We we can we hold on to so many cards, man, that this is kind of sick. So what is curse? Cursed items deal damage when they aren't used. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, activating the items completely removes curse from it. So I could I could put curse on and then basically just cycle their cards to make sure they can't play that item. That's a fun build, man. That's a fun build. I'm, I'm going all in on that. So now we have it. I'd like to, to swap you two, swap you two. And I can hold on to so many cards that the, the opportunity there is even greater. This is a really interesting idea, man. Um, now, I don't have any money to gamble in here, if that is what this is. I'll play a practice game first. Um, the hell am I doing, brother? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I need help. <laughs> Your goal is to win three modified games of blackjack. You must place each of the three cards into any hand that did not yet win or lose. Okay. Um, sure, sure. So I'll put the ace right here. So that's a blackjack. Which is good. Um, I'll put the five over here. And then I'll hit. And that gives me now a blackjack over here. And 15 over there, and then I'd like to stop. This is kind of cool, actually. So, I won, I won, I lost. Um, that was a practice run. Sure, I mean, let's do it, right? Let's do it. I understand. So, what do I care the most about? Probably the money at this point. So, give me the blackjack there. Let's. I really don't care about that. Let's hit me. I'll put an ace over there. I'll put the five and the two here. I'll hit you one more time. We'll we'll go. We'll go four. Ten. Eight. And I'll stop. Okay. Um, I won all those. <laughs> that went pretty well, I'd say. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> We found a fruit tree. Oh, how fantastic. Gain gain of food. Thank you very much. Castle Hearts. Dude, we're, we're cruising right now. We are absolutely cruising. So, Wizard Tower. Um, I got money, so I, I got max energy. That's fair. I got money, so I'm just going to do everything. So, upgrade me. What What is this upgrade? Uh, da, 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 da. Cycle up to three cards is the upgrade. I would love to instead get some even wackier. Like, 39 curse is crazy. Two or three of a kind is kind of cool, too. I think I'd, I think I'd rather try to get a little bit more money. Um, pay three to learn scrounging. I got no clue what that means, but I'm, I'm excited to find out. I'm so maxed out on everything, man. And we really, like, we haven't even been in combat to understand if our deck works yet. So let's, let's, let's fight this. Because I think that we're going to find that things are, things are kind of spicy in here. 
So you are looking for spades. I would like to reveal your cards. I'm just gonna go pretty heavy on this. So you don't have any spades. So this is my opportunity to spend a lot here. I'm going to add you to 28 to curse you. And I'm going to curse your... I'm gonna curse your one spade. Yeah, I'm gonna curse your one spade. I should have cursed your stumble because I can prevent you from doing that. I gotta think of what they are not going to play. And I don't want them to play this, but it's harder for me to stop them from doing that. So just hold these cards. End turn. You take 28 life. Now, we don't know if you have spades. So I'm going to pop you. You got no spades. Okay. That's good. That's very good. Um, return these to hand. Unfortunately, none of these are useful to me. I'm going to end my turn. You're going to take 28. It's so busted, man. It's so busted. And then we hit you for 44. The Axe of Darkness kind of goes crazy. It kind of goes crazy. Four odd cards, four even cards. Odds count as aces. You cannot... Well, this card could be... Okay, you have evens. Okay, you have evens. Um, let's... Let's cycle two evens. Okay, we love that. And then I'll just store my three cards for right now. End turn. You're a little scary, but you're not horrible. Um, I'm just gonna consume, man. So you're... I'm not worried about... Two fives gives us the pair. We're not up to 28 yet, so I'd like to, to sleeve these cards, sleeve that card, and turn. Queens count as even, so you got three evens. You have four evens, okay? We're going to cycle two evens. And you are good. Okay. Sorry, this is this is a little brain breaky for me. But it's going fine. Um hit you for 12. We're we're gonna curse you for 38 on odds. Why? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I probably should have cursed your, your attack, because I'm gonna try to prevent evens at all costs. But so you have, currently, you're a single odd three evens. Do I care? I, I guess that's my, my true question of the hour is, how much do I actually care? I might not care at all. Um, I'll just end turn. It wasn't even. <laughs> it was a great day. Uh, okay. And then return these two eights for, for 32. I'm, I'm walking out of here living a good life. That went fine. Okay. That went fine. Um, I'll spend one to, to gain a little bit of energy. And then for 15, I'd love to upgrade something. Now, your upgrade is to, to stash more cards. Your upgrade is to stash more cards. I really don't think I need to stash more cards. So just upgrade... This, now three of a kind, is is pretty good for me. And, and the shop, I don't believe I can afford anything. And I'm not sure I need to because this deck is great. Right? It's really good. So, let's take free money. Gain that. I think you want to now start building towards a, a bag upgrade. Meaning this <laughs> number of cards drawn. Sorry, brain, brain's not all there, apparently. Um, we do want to use some some gems here. And let's, let's actually use several, because we have a lot of them. Okay, so pair of sevens. You draw a card one hit. We, you need a four card flush. I mean, there's a chance that you have it, right? You don't, but there is a chance you did. We're going to go for the 28 play. It's at least 28, but you might as well do exactly 28, right? 
Uh, yes. Do that. I'm gonna curse you. So that's now cursed for 28. Now, can I can I continue to add on the curse? That that's my my next question. Um, and I'm sure we'll we'll find that out momentarily. Cause I I really have no incentive to even hit you now, right? So sort by by suits. That's that's just kind of fine. Let's return cards. We're we're looking for getting to 28. So if I add more curse to you, it just immediately hits you with the curse. Okay, that's pretty sick. That's really awesome. Um, I will end my turn. And then I'm going to... You're going to get cursed for 28. Oh, and it's a perfect uh, kill, so I got plus one score. Thank you to everybody that explained that to me, by the way. Okay, that went fine. Um, send me into my next battle. We we have ourselves a build, man. We have a build. So a three-card flush. I'm, I cannot let you do that. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to just cycle those real quick. There's a chance you still have it. You don't. Okay. You don't. So I'm going to curse you. The three card flush is what I'm going to be trying to prevent. So let's let's cue that up right on there. And then I'll end turn. You may have it. It's worth checking. You don't have it. Great day. Pair of threes. Hit for 12. Store your card. And turn. You got four cards ranked six or lower. Okay. I don't really care about getting stunned. I know that that might, that might come as a, a shock to some of you. Don't really care about it. I'd like to hit you for 28. I'd like to end my turn. You you have stunned me. Oh no. You have taken 28 damage. Um, you do not have any chance at a three card flush. You will die. Okay. The Axe of Darkness is absolutely absurd with this character it's really really good man i mean like like broken levels of good more card draw just makes us even stronger like and more card draw is the key to success in this game for sure but it's so 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 much better in in this right I, and I'm, I'm kind of like even when you have a oh no you curse me um, here, you ready? I'd like to, to do this, and then I'd like to do this, and then I'll just return them. <laughs> it's kind of kind of busted. Um, curse you? I'll check real quick. It's not. I'd like to end turn. Okay, so you're going to be taking 20 at every turn. Uh, guess what? I'd like you to do it again. That's another perfect kill. Um, I'm the perfect kill machine right now. I cannot afford the Enchantress, so so don't bother. Let, let's go for the gem instead. One card rank 10 or higher, you attack for 18. Okay, I mean, super miserable for sure. Incredibly miserable. Um, you're actually like a, a massive pain in the rear for us. So you got to cycle these and pray. Yeah, I mean, what are you supposed to do against this person? It's just it's just kind of annoying. Yeah, you, you hit me for for 18. That's that's a that's a strong enemy, man. That's a very strong enemy. So, give me the curse on you. I'm gonna I'm gonna cycle your king. I mean, I'll check. I hate it, man. That uh, just puts me in a just puts me in a tough spot. You're just gonna hit me again. I really don't like you, okay? I really don't like you. You're you're the worst enemy we've we've fought hands down. Um, check ya? Okay. Check ya before you get frickin' wrecked ya. Grab this. Pair of this. Sleeve my cards, get me out. And then I just I just need to kill you on this turn. Pair of fours will probably get you there. Attack for 16. I did not enjoy that fight. I, I had a rough time with that one. What's the cave? Enter the cave and counter two in fights in a row. Gives me a ton of money, ton of gems. Okay, I'll do it. Uh, I'll go in the damn cave. You spot something shiny, gain a little gem action. Okay, we're, we're gonna play pretty heavily in here. I don't have to do it either. <laughs> okay. 
I don't know. I guess why bother, right? I'm I'm living a fine life as is right now. So five red cards. This is this is. Oh, I mean, get fricked up, honestly. Inflame all one when hit. It's kind of disgusting, and you revive after death. It's extremely disgusting. Um, let's. I mean, let's let's. We're definitely gemming a little bit. You got a pair of threes. I should spend energy to probably cycle my own cards. I just looked at his cards instead. Yeah, let's let's cycle these. Now you have that's twenty. Just just do the thirty to add curse to this. You're not gonna play it on this turn. You'll dump those into there. That inflames me. Which is just annoying, honestly. It's just very annoying. So it hits you, which then inflames me. You're a very frustrating enemy, let me tell you. Um, it's just one damage, but... I mean, it adds up. I'm gonna hit you for, for 28 and kill you. I probably should have just done nothing. Oh, but then you revive, right? So... I guess, uh... I mean, just end turn. Yeah, so you're back to life. That's, like, real annoying. Let's, let's, uh, cycle the red cards. We love that. Then you can do a little curse on you. I mean, I'd, I'd still like to hold on to the six. I also want to pop a potion of life, um, before this enemy dies. Like, at the end of the turn, I'm, I'm going to pop the potion of life just to have it. And, and get back up to, to full, full health. Let's cycle those. Two sevens for 28. Six, six, eight doesn't get you there. You're going to hit for 28 right now. Um, the inflame two does not bother me, so just end turn. You get hit for 28. And then you'll get hit for 28 and die on this next turn. I'm going to potion a life. Wow, it doesn't do anything. It does freaking nothing, brother. That's like extraordinarily terrible <laughs> okay um well i'm i'm hurt way more hurt than i wanted to be and we just want to draw more cards i'm gonna i'm gonna fight three cards straight two cards straight straights are a lot easier for me to disrupt any cards adding to at least 50 no i like the idea of disrupting straights we're, we're gonna do this so two cards straight, that's the two and the ace. Okay, so let's cycle you. You now, we don't know what you have. You don't have a straight. I guess not knowing that doesn't really matter. I'm just wasting my energy doing that. Okay, let's draw a little bit. A pair of kings for 40 is completely fine. And then I'll curse you on three cards straight, because it's very low chance that that happens. You have a two card straight with the three and the two. I'm going to nix the three. Going to just hope for the best, is my opinion. Going to hit you for 44. I'm going to stash two cards. You're going to get hit for 28. I'm going to return these cards. I'm going to cycle a three and a five. You got six, seven, eight, nine, Jack King, brother. You've got a three card straight. I mean, I gotta, I gotta just kill you here. Okay, that's fine. You, you use an extra gem in the process, but I, I don't hate it. So, increase card draw. I mean, you got half health going into this fight. The attack for forty four is, is we can let you do it once, right? I think we let you block for forty seven, unfortunately. So I'm, I'm not concerned in, in this scenario. Let, let's get some gem action going just so that I can get some extra things popping off immediately. I'm going to curse this. We're going to cycle red cards for you forever. So that curse of 28 should, should be good. You will not draw four red cards here. So play your attack here. And then let's just sleeve those cards. You are not drawing four reds. Three of a kind jacks for, for 60 is pretty good. 
and then you can you can do a curse right here. I mean, you might as well. Let's curse this now too. And then you're taking, you know, 56 a turn. Ah, I mean, you got it immediately, but that's that's fair. <laughs> what, are, what are you supposed to do? Attack for 48. I can return a three or I can just stash those. I'm gonna end turn. Another 28. You're, you're getting hit again here. Return, return. You got queens. We'll stash these. We'll stash these. I'll end turn. Black cards do not bother me. I'll return these. Give me the eights. And then give me a curse on... You might as well just... Just, just curse... Like, just curse this and get the extra 28, right? Stash these, stash these, and turn. As long as you're not hitting me, I'm, I'm good. And I feel like that we're, we're in a scenario where it's very easy for us to not get hit. So, do this, curse you, stash these. 66 damage coming in. Triple threes. You blocked most of it. Play your axe. Another 28. Stash this. You're, you're just getting slowly chonked down, man. Now, this is where we're a little scared. But we're not scared enough because you're dead before it matters. That What a disappointing fight for you. Um, So, I mean, look. I'm just going to be blunt. It's an obliteration run. We're obviously going to raise the stakes and go further. Um, and we're going to raise the stakes and go further in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, as always, like on the video, much appreciated. We'll be playing more Poker Quest because I like it. Okay? I have fun with it. And I know it's not getting views and I don't care because I like it nonetheless. So please like the video so that I know that you also enjoy it if you made it to this point. But for now, thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.